a lot of people have been asking for daily uploads and the thing is if I do daily uploads I'm not going to be able to do a legitimate project or legitimate project every day so obviously it's going to be a little bit more videos like this where I'm doing stuff with cars it's just maybe stuff that's not really you know I don't really know what I'm doing you know yet in the day so anyways uh, if you guys like this video hit the thumbs up button let me know if you like it or not but I'll show you what's going on uh, I had a lot going on in the last couple of days uh, you can see the vet was lifted up and I took out basically all of the suspension just to see how low it would go I took out the shocks and then this is a leaf spring but it's not metal I don't know it's some composite material just took that out and then uh, let's see Basically, just put it on the jacks, put it all the way up, put the wheel up, and it was tucking tire a little bit, not nearly as much as I'd like it to. Uh, obviously, eventually, I'm going to get coilovers pretty soon, actually. It's just, they're like $1,300 and screw that. Anyways, I was only like tucking the here, which was kind of pissing me off because it's like, when there's no suspension in there, you would think that it's just laying frame, but it's really not, and it's kind of annoying, but... Uh, I don't know what I'm gonna do about it. I imagine that if once I get coils, it'll make it go lower once it settles or something. I don't really know what I'm expecting, but we'll see. I'll get coils. I took the engine out of the CRX. Uh, that was actually super easy. I do have uh, the thing up for parts, so a lot of people have been asking me for you know uh, shipping and stuff. So I gotta pull some parts off this thing today. But I also need to go to my work so I can go pick up this uh, material so I can do the next couple of videos in this week, which is going to be the rear diffuser and front splitter. Uh, I just have, it's too big for me to be able to take it in any of my cars, which is pretty much just the vet. That's all I have that's really uh, able to even drive right now besides the Miata. And uh, so I need someone with a, some vehicle capable, most likely a truck or something. So we'll see if we can get someone to do that for us. So right now, just taking these. Now, I don't know why everyone has such a hard on for these damn camber plates, but it seems like every other message I get on Facebook or something is about these camber plates. So I've got a bunch of people in line to buy them. I'm gonna pull them off, see how much shipping is, and then send them out, hopefully make some money. So we just got these things off. Uh, super easy, I'm pretty happy I didn't have to do any kind of like suspension work. It was just a few bolts taking the shit off. Next thing you do is attempt to throw this Corvette back together. All the suspension stuff that I took out, most of it's kind of put back together, but the leaf spring might be kind of a pain in the ass. Uh, and then I can move all the shit from the back of the Miata, put this engine behind it, and then hopefully I can get someone to help me move my shit from the warehouse over to here so I can actually do my splitter and diffuser sometime this week anyways. So I don't know if you guys quite understand what I'm talking about. Uh, so basically, in the Corvette suspension, there is a shock, and then there's a leaf spring that goes across the suspension, and it goes perpendicular to the car. And uh, basically, I took that off just so that it would, it, the leaf spring acts as the spring, and then the shock is obviously the shock, and whenever you get coilovers, you take out the spring, and it replaces the shock, or it goes in place of the shock. And uh, basically, I just did it to see how low it went, and it, kind of is like held in it has a lot of pressure so I don't know if I'm gonna be able to actually get the leaf, leaf spring back in but um, I at least need to get these shocks back in and uh, yeah that'll be fun so all of this suspension is already all hooked up and everything I think I'm gonna be smart about this and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get another jack I'm gonna put this back I'm into here and there's like these little retainer things that I bolt up I'm gonna bolt those back in, and then I'll move the jack once I get those in place, obviously, because I'm gonna have to jack that up, and then move over once it's already in there, and then hopefully get this thing back up into where it needs to be, and then bolt it right up. Seems easy enough, but it's probably not gonna be, so uh, let's get to it. So that was actually really easy. Wasn't really expecting that, but you know, something I've never really done before. But uh, wouldn't be afraid to do it again. That was super easy. Oh, it's so hot in here. Oh, this pillow. I need to fix this seat. All right, you guys want to see this? Uh, Ignition switch. Watch now. Now it's gonna work. First try. Now just watch. Watch. 
It doesn't. It, there we go. And uh, if you guys didn't notice, my e brake doesn't work. I'm sure it's just some spring in here or something, but I guess uh, maybe uh, it was just meant to be a drift car or something. Can you help me go pick up some stuff from the warehouse? Uh, yeah. We're gonna go ahead and head over to my work to go pick up that material. And uh, I'm meeting him over there. But, so, we're just gonna take uh, the red vet. See, this one doesn't sound as good though. Sounds better, but only because it has like a super slight cam, but it's not nearly as loud, so. Definitely need to change that as soon as possible. For those of you who want to know, the material that I'm going to be using that I got uh, from my work is this uh, kind of acrylic or something. I'm not really too sure what it is. It's, it's some plastics obviously acrylic is like a kind of plastic or something I don't know I'm not really too sure. I'm not gonna pretend to know what it is But it's pretty thick and it's gonna look good. And it's gonna do the job and I got it for free So that's pretty good. But anyways guys, I don't really have anything car related going on today So I'm gonna call it quits here, but if you like this video hit the thumbs up button Let me know in the comments what you liked what you didn't like and peace out Dare you. I double dare you motherfucker. Say what? One more time